Wow! Welcome everyone to this interesting question where given is a quadrant and two squares. The side length of these squares they are forming the chords of the quadrant. Given is the length of this red line segment and purple line segment is 7 and 8 cm. Exciting part is with this limited data we have to find radius of this quadrant. Let's check this simple and elegant solution. <laughs> no, my solution, it's very clumsy and lengthy. And in fact, I'm looking for a much better solution and approach for this question in comment section. Now let's check my approach first. So to start with, <clears throat> let's assume the radius of this quadrant is R centimeter. The side length of this square is 2A centimeter. And for this smaller square, it's 2B centimeter. Now from point O, let's drop perpendicular on AB. We know that this perpendicular is also bisector of the chord. So OF is perpendicular bisector of AB. Now let's assume OF length is X centimeter. Now as it's square, so these two side lengths will be parallel to each other or perpendicular bisector of AB will also be perpendicular bisector of the second length. Here the length FG that's 2A centimeter and this length will be A and A centimeter. Now if you look at this triangle ODG in this triangle applying Pythagoras theorem will get X plus 2A square plus A square is 8 square. Now here opening up the bracket will get X square plus 4A square plus 4 times of XA plus A square is 64. Now here we need to get value of x square plus a square here. So for that let's join OB here. Now in this triangle OFB, BF that's same as a centimeter and OB which is hypotenuse is what is radius of this quadrant. So from here we get x square plus a square is nothing but r square. So here replacing this x square and a square so this x square plus a square will just replace with r square so this is first equation we have got from our first square same way we'll obtain the equation from our second square so we'll follow the same step from point o we'll drop a perpendicular on bc which is also a perpendicular bisector let's assume oh length is y centimeter here and this oh when we'll extend it will also be perpendicular bisector of other side. Now here this HG length that is same as 2B and here this length will be B plus B centimeter. And again looking at the triangle OGE. So in this right angle triangle applying Pythagoras theorem will get Y plus 2B square plus B square is 7 square. Now here again opening up the bracket so we'll get equation in this form and uh, if we'll see if we'll form the triangle here that's triangle OHB now here HB length is what is B centimeter and from this triangle we'll get Y square plus B square is OB square and again OB is nothing but radius of the circle so replacing this X square plus B square by R square will get equation in this form so we have got two equations here this equation 1 and equation 2. Let's add these two equations to get a new equation here. So this is what equation we are getting here. Now to simplify it, let's first remove all this data which we have created here and just retain this simple equation here. And in fact here in this figure also let's remove all the unnecessary data. Now to solve it, we have to eliminate A and B. And for that we'll first find value of 4a square plus b square separately. Then we'll find value of ax plus by separately. We'll replace this value in this given equation and solve it to get value of r. So let's first find value of 4 times of a square plus b square. For that let's consider the outside angle at point O. This angle is nothing but 270 degree. And by theorem the angle subtended at the remaining part of the sector that is this angle B here that will be half of it or 135 degree. 
now let's join ca here now oc length that's r centimeter oa is r and by pythagoras theorem ca length will be root 2 r now in this triangle c b a applying cosine law so we'll get root 2 r whole square that's 2 r square is 2 a square plus 2 b square minus 2 times of 2 a 2 b times cos 135 now here putting cos 135 as minus 1 by root 2 and simplifying it so we'll get 4 a square plus 4 b square as 2 r square minus 4 root 2 ab so this value we have already got now let's check the value of ax plus by now this is interesting value now if you will uh, consider this yellow triangle here in this triangle the base length is 2a and height is x so by formula the area of this yellow triangle will be half of 2a times x or ax so this ax is representing this yellow triangle and same way by by is representing this pink triangle area so ax plus by is actually representing area of this quadrilateral oabc now this quadrilateral oabc we can split it in other way also so this quadrilateral if we'll divide it in two triangles in this form then we'll get this ax plus by is nothing but this pink triangle plus this yellow triangle or area of triangle oac plus area of triangle abc oac area is easy that is half of base into height base is r height is r so this is half of r square how about this yellow triangle so we'll use the formula area of triangle is half of side 1 into side 2 into sin of this angle which is there half of ab sin theta so this pink triangle is this triangle oac is half of r square and area of triangle abc that is half of side lengths times sin of angle between them now sin 135 that's 1 by root 2 so putting this value here we'll get ax plus by as half r square plus root 2 ab now these two values this one in red and green this we can replace in our original equation here so our original equation will be in this form now when we are solving it when you open the bracket here so you will get this minus 4 times of root ab and from here you are getting plus 4 times of root ab root 2 ab this will get cancelled down so we will be left with 2r square plus 2r square and plus 2 r square so we are getting here 6 r square is 113 r square that's 113 by 6 and r r will be 4.34 cm and that's our answer i hope you enjoyed the solution of course solution was slightly lengthy and i am looking forward for some improvement in the same so i'll see you in next video till then tata bye bye